going on everybody it's king wolf and welcome to a pass play now this pass play is going to be like that other deep bomb i showed you guys here is another deep bomb i'm giving to you guys for free I'm not charging for nothing all i ask is for a like man like the video right now before we even continue press like i'm trying to get as many likes as i can on this video this is going to be a lethal bomb again like the previous one man so let's not waste any time let's get into it did i mention like the video <laughs> all right here we go formation is gun the name of the set is the bunch halfback str is that streak straight stroke what is that someone tell me put it in the comments below what is that anyway that's the set we are going out of what playbook uh, i would imagine it's the saints playbook i want to say uh, i'll put it in the description i'll find out and i'll put it in the description after this video but the name of the play of course you guessed it the pa wide receiver in again out of a different set different setups all types of different shit we're going to get into it the first defense we want to beat is the cover four so let me show you guys how to beat cover four out of the dime formation cover four anyway all right so here is our setup right here ultimately what we want to do is get the b route by himself a couple of adjustments we are going to achieve that now what i like about this one as opposed to the other video i showed you the other PA wide receiver in took time for the B route to break open. In this play, it's a second earlier, so you can hit the B route a whole second before the other play. So it's what makes it more lethal. So let's go ahead and set it up against the cover four. We're gonna have the B route all by himself. Could be a touchdown if he catches and runs right. Sometimes he'll fucking catch it and roll over and fucking barrel roll and shit like that. And I don't know why he does that. Let's go ahead and beat cover four. Here are the adjustments. Write them down. Do what you got to do. Let's do it. All right. First thing we want to do is we want to put the Y route on a wheel route. I guess that's the running back. So we're going to press Y or triangle. Select the Y route, which is Stewart. Right stick up. Now he's on a wheel. Next thing we want to do is highlight him and then motion him over to the left just like that. Two more adjustments and this play is done. Next thing we want to do is we want to put our tight end, which is the A route, on a streak. So Y or triangle, select A or X, and then left stick up for streak. And then the last adjustment we're going to do is put the RB route or the R1 route on a fade. So how do we do that? Y or triangle, select RB or R1, which is Katri. Right stick up. You see fade right there to the right. Click that stick up just like that. And that is it very simple setup the b cover for the b route will be by himself uh he'll be open a lot quicker than the other pa wide receiver in so this play is lethal let's go ahead and snap the ball let me show you guys by himself a lot easier a lot faster and i am gone i am gone all right let's do it again let's do it again all right here's our play we'll route the y route bring him over Right, we set him down, streak the A route, fade the RB route. Sit back and watch the magic happen. Oh, he got hung up, but he's still open. He got hung up, but he's still open. And we are going to get another TD. Very simple, effective play. Let me go ahead and run it one more time. Remember, wheel route, the running back, bring him over. Streak the A route, fade the RB route, and that is our play right here. Watch the magic unfold. There goes the B route, getting hung up again, but it doesn't matter. He's still going to catch the ball. I don't know why he's getting hung up. I guess his speed is it, it, he's getting there too fast. So put your fastest receiver on that on that B route. Make sure you put your fastest receiver there. That would be a lot easier. So all right. So that's cover four, man. That's cover four. Very easy setup. Very easy to beat cover four. I think you can even beat blitzes, bro. I'm telling you, I think blitzes, I mean, uh, you know, standard blitzes, you'll be able to beat them. All right. So here we go. Same thing. PA wide receiving out of the gun bunch halfback STR. Must be some sort of supercharged play like the dodge. I'm just joking. And the next formation we want to go over cover three let's beat cover three standard cover three right there all right for cover three now you're gonna put the the wire route on a wheel route again so Y or triangle select the wire route right stick up for wheel and then we're gonna motion him out again all right 
only thing we're gonna do next is for the cover three is we're going to streak the tight end. So Y or triangle, select the A route, left stick up. So what we're doing here is we're confusing strong safety, free safety, deep safety, long safety, whatever you wanna call him, he's going to get confused. What that does in cover three is it leaves our tight end open. We are looking for the tight end. We are looking for Olsen. He should be down the field by himself. This should be another long catch. I don't want to say TD because the tight ends are a little bit slower, but we're going to see anyway. Let's see what happens. Watch the magic unfold. There goes A by himself. And we get the ball. Run, run, Olsen, run, Olsen. You got it, baby. You got it. That simple, fellas. Cover three smoked with the tight end. Here we go again. Remember, wheel route Stewart, which is your running back. Bring him over. And then the only adjustment you want to do to beat the cover three is streak the A route. And that is the guy you were looking for. Here we go. Give me money. There he is by himself again. <laughs> he tucks in a row. He's like, fuck that. I ran too much the previous play. I ain't going again. All right, here's our play. Remember, wheel route the running back. Bring him over just like that. And then we're just going to streak the A route. And let's get this money. Let's get this bomb. Boom, just like that over the top. Now, he probably ain't going to get you a TD, but he's going to get you a lot of yards. Let me run it one more time for you guys. Wheel route. Bring him over. Remember, just streak the A route. And cover three. Our play looks like that. Snap the ball. We're looking for the A route. Here goes the A route by himself. Come on, Olsen. Come on, Olsen. Come on, Olsen. And he gets us a lot of yards. So there it is, man. Let's go ahead and switch to the next, which is cover two. Let's beat cover two. Back to gun. Punch halfback, whatever. And then PA wide receiver in. And then we want to go dime, cover two, just like that. All right. To beat cover two, you can recognize cover two. If you don't know how to recognize the defenses, make sure you study up your concepts, or watch the skills trainer, or play the skills trainer in Madden 16. Just brush up on them, man. I explained it to you a little bit in the previous deep bomb video. If, if you want to check that out, go check it out. It is in my, in my archive somewhere. But in cover two, what we want to do is, instead of putting the Y route on a wheel, we want to put him on a streak. So we're going to press Y or triangle, select the Y route, left stick up to put him on a streak, and we want to put him in the same spot, just like that. All right. Next and last adjustment we're going to do is put the A route on a fade. So Y or triangle, select the A route, and then fade him, just like that. All right. We're looking for the tight end again. He should be open down the field by himself. The Y route confuses the uh, defensive backs, uh, the safeties, and they don't know what to do. And the other top safety to the right bites the B route. A should be by himself. This is money. Here we go again. By himself, we bomb it. And there goes Olsen. <laughs> that was a fucking bomb, bro. That was a bomb. That, that was like almost like that Aaron Rodgers Hail Mary where he fucking threw it in the outer space. I right, remember, streak the Y route. Let's bring him over. And then we are going to fade the A route just like that. He should be by himself. Super For the most part by himself. Star. Lead the pass. There goes Olsen again. And it's money. Make sure you're tight ends fast. Don't put no slow ass, slow poking <laughs> tight end position. Don't even use a team that has a slow ass tight end because you're just gonna smoke yourself. Remember, streak the Y route. Let's bring them over. And then let's fade the A route. I'm sure there's probably faster tight ends than this guy. Now he's really by himself. Boom, another fucking catch and Olsen scores a TD. Now, one thing you need to be careful with is cover two man and cover two zone sort of mimic each other. If you notice the difference in cover two, he's off the backs. Now, it's going to be very hard for you to tell. So what you need to do before you start running bombs is, is try to get a feel for your opponent to see if he's running a lot of man defense. If he is running a lot of man defense, you need to be careful with these plays because uh, in cover two, uh, man, it's hard to distinguish if he presses them. So like right here, if we look at the X route, cover two, stock, standard, cover two, he plays off of him in cover two. Now, but if we go into the same play, let me show you guys, I'm just giving you a little tip right here. This is a little tip because sometimes people ask me, well, what if they run man? All right. 
So you saw how he played back. Let's go to the same play over here, the eight wide receiver in, and we're going back to Diane, but this time we're going to put cover two man. Now, if, if I'm going back and forth, if you look at cover two and cover two man, oh, let me go back. Cover two and cover two man, the actual positions of the back stay the same. It's just the zone reads are different than man, okay? So let's pick cover two man. I want you to know the, notice the difference. If we look at the X route, look where that uh, corner is at. That corner is playing Brown. He's on him, that's, that's how you give it away. So in the event of that, you just wanna slant or drag uh, any of the routes and then beat them on the man routes, that's it. Very simple, very easy, man. I hope you guys appreciate this video. I thank you for all the love and support. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. I'll check you out on the next one. Peace. Super